Hey everybody, it's John from Seattle Coffee Gear. We're back in the commercial kitchen doing a commercial crew review of a pretty new product on the market. It is the update of the Bun G Series grinder. This is the Bun GVH. Uh, I believe this is the two or three pound version of it, but that just changes the hopper size, nothing internally on the grinder. And GVH, the VH of that stands for visual hopper. Uh, basically just means that you can see inside the hopper. This is an update of the classic G series, the G1, G2, G3 uh, that Bun makes. It's been a bolt grinder in pretty much every coffee shop, uh, every grocery store for a really long time. So this is the first major, they've, major update they've done to it in a little bit and we're gonna talk about it today. So the first thing you'll probably notice is that it does look a little bit different than the old one did. So it's not that black plastic box anymore. They redid it in this nice stainless. They rounded the corners on it. Um, this dial shape looks pretty similar. This is with a zero to, um, you know, what is that? 11, goes all the way to 11, uh, dial on here, um, which you're, you're chirping about here and then your past cold brew out here. So really a pretty good range of motion. You can also get it with the sticker that has that classic diagram we're all used to where it says, you know, Turkish, uh, electric perk, French perk, um, whatever, uh, or French, French press, um, whatever on that. But we just have the numbers on this dial here. Um, a little bit more modern, what a lot more coffee shops are using nowadays. Still has that cleaning lever that uh, Bun always has, but they added in a bag clamp on the back here. That'll hold a bag. I'll show that in action a little bit later. Um, and this chute is a little bit different as well. So it grinds into coffee bags, the resealable ones that everybody's using now, does that a little bit better than the G series, the G1, two or three used to. Still has the same stop start switch with the little sensor back here. So that is all very similar to the old G series grinders. Um, the lid on the hopper now, it's just like that, stays attached to the back, comes right back down like that. Uh, has the same or a little bit more powerful motor than the older G series did. Um, not sure of the wattage exactly, but it's around a thousand watts on this. It has the same burrs as the G series. So about 80 millimeter grinding burrs. Those are flat and um, those sit right in here. But now that we've talked about all the specifics, let's do a little bit of a grind test and then I'll show you some of the grind quality that comes off of this. So most people, are gonna be using this grinder as their bolt grinder in a coffee shop. That means they're either gonna be using it at a drip setting to go with a drip brewer, or maybe they're using it uh, for a cold brew over at a coarse setting, uh, or they might be doing some pour overs, which you could do a lot better on this one because you're not limited to just the specific settings. Now you have an infinite stepless adjustment on this. So I like that update a lot but most folks aren't gonna be using this for espresso. If you get the Turkish burr set, that's an optional for this. You could do some okay espresso, but this can't get quite fine enough before it starts chirping uh, to do decent espresso. So we will uh, look at some of the grind quality in a second here, but I'm gonna cut this bag open, show you guys the bag holder and grind some coffee. Be right back. All right, got my bag open. For everybody who complains about us wasting coffee, I'm using decaf today just for you. So let's test this out. So this fits on just like it used to, just like that, and it holds the bag, and we start. Flip that, flip my cleaning lever a few times, bring that out. 
and that was pretty darn neat. Um, it held the bag the whole time. It smells pretty good even for a decaf. Great job, Kickapoo. Uh, but if you have worked on one of the older G-Series grinders, you're probably used to the noise they make. And while this one is similar, they've really worked a lot on the tone of it, especially at this price point. It sounds a little bit nicer than the old G-Series did. It doesn't rattle quite as much. Um, so big improvements there. Wrap this together. Set that aside. And I was mentioning before that this does work better with uh, some of the resealable bags. So I happen to have a sample of that now. We can look at that. So this one is pretty similar to what you'll find in most coffee shops. Um, it's a little bit wider at the top here. We've seen some issues with bags that are narrow and resealable. So those still struggle a little bit with this grinder directly, grinding directly into them. But let's test this out and see what we get. Open this. So this is where it's a little bit trickier just because this bag is one of those resealable ones because it tends to hold the chute closed. So one thing you can try is flipping this backwards and then seeing what you can do with that. So that's what I thought would happen there. So you're still, you're still gonna have to hang out here and hold it, but you don't have to cut the top off the bag like you did with some of the bags in the past. So as you can see, probably it made a bit more of a mess than that other style of bag did where I had to cut it, but I can still reseal this and I will be good to go. Um, so better than the G-Series grinders were, still not perfect for these new resealable style bags, but better than it used to be. Um, the reason I show you both is because, in my experience, that's what most coffee shops are using this grinder as, is to grind whole grind bags for retail customers and then for drip coffee and for cold brew, uh, along with other pour-over methods. So, speaking of that, these are some grind settings that uh, I was testing out earlier. Uh, so, this is the finest it got. This is just off of chirping. And so kind of powdery, um, not quite consistent enough for espresso in our testing. Coming over here, this is what we've been using for our, our drip grind setting. And um, we've been happy with it, it tastes really good. Um, it's comparable to um, the, like the Curtis options in this price range, um, some of the Malconig options in this lower price range. Overall, really comparable. Um, in this setting that most people are going to be using this for most consistently. Then coming over here, we have like a cold brew or a French press setting, um, which again is decent, pretty good. Um, there's some boulders in there, but that might be because the, the burrs on this one are still pretty new. Um, but still, the burrs on the G-Series grinder, um, they're pretty legendary. Um, people have been using them for a long time. If you've had drip coffee at a coffee shop, there's a great chance that you've tasted coffee off of burrs just like this. I think this is a, a good needed update to the Bun G series grinder. A little bit more forward thinking for a modern specialty coffee shop with the stepless adjustment up here, but still is bulletproof as ever, just like the old G series grinders were. Um, and just would do a great job as a bolt grinder for a coffee shop. If you have any questions about this grinder, leave us a comment down below. If you like the video, well, like the video. And then if you wanna see more of our videos, leave a comment down below about maybe something we should do next. Make sure to subscribe to the channel, be notified. If you have questions about equipment or opening a coffee shop, 
please give us a call. We'd love to chat with you and talk about that. Um, we have a new dedicated commercial equipment sales line, so make sure to give us a call. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have a great rest of your day.